Hey everybody, Lindelia1998 here again, otherwise known as Lamont Stewart. And today, I just my top my head a lot watching other videos and decided to talk about prayer and inaction. Now, even though I still believe in God, I've never been one to not do stuff. There's a thing it said in the Bible somewhere, in the book of James. I can't remember the exact word for word, but basically it was saying, "Faith without action is stupid." So, as it means, if you if you, if you see someone like hungry or see someone the car's broken down outside the road. You don't just go, oh, I'll pray for him. Hope God will help him. You actually, well, you pray for him too, but you actually, you actually stop. Help the person. Give the person food or whatever. Of course, now you gotta be careful, of course, because some, some of these things might be tricks and lies. Because people like that, people will pretend to be hungry or pretend to be hurt, hurt to just hurt you. So, you always have to be on the lookout for that. But, more like you take action. You just don't go. If you're a Christian, of course, because if you're an atheist, you don't believe in God anyways, but you don't go, oh, I'll take care of him. I don't need to worry about that. No. Take action yourself. But all this it kept me reminding me of two jokes I heard over back at church camp when I used to, back when I used to go to church camp and these guys told these awesome jokes about action prayer and action you might have heard of one of them maybe both of them I don't know but the first one that I heard was there was a massive flood right and this guy was trapped on his roof so he prayed to God that God Help me get off this roof. All of a sudden, a tree fell over and the roof let him get, let him get down. He ignored it and the, soon the water rushed away. Later, th this boat it came up offering to, offering to give him help. Like, no, I'm good. That'll help me. Okay, then Finally, the water got getting higher. Finally, a helicopter came and says, "Grab the, the guy says, grab the ladder." And he's like, "No, nope, I'm good. God's gonna rescue me." So soon, the water rose up, and he guy, he guy drowned. And the guy went up to heaven and said, "Like God, did you hear my prayer?" God's like, "Yes, I heard your prayer." And the guy's like, "But." Why didn't you rescue me then? Like, why didn't you rescue me then? And God's like, but I sent you a tree, a boat, and a helicopter. What more do you want from me? The, the other one was this guy who was in the hospital. He's dying. Very serious disease, but there's a cure. There is a expert, there's, there's an experimental surgery from a doctor that can save them, but the key, the key is the, the kicker is the surgery the doctor is very expensive, and it's more than he can afford. So he prays, God, I need your help. I need you to help me to win win the lottery. Please help me. Thank you. Next day. Is it won the lottery? Guys, again, God, I need the money. Really, I'm gonna die. Please help me win the lottery. Next day, he doesn't win the lottery. Again, this goes on for a while. Finally, he's at death's door. He's like, God, I have one last chance. Please, I need the surgery. Help me win the lottery. He doesn't, next day, he doesn't win, and unfortunately, he dies. 
goes up to heaven. And he's like, God, didn't you hear my prayer? God's like, yes, I did hear your prayer. And God's like, but if you hear my prayer, why don't you help me win the lottery? And God's like, son, or whatever, like, did you ever buy a ticket? Uh, those two, uh, it's funny, they're kind of funny joke, but also messes behind them that you gotta do stuff. We're here on Earth, and, and it's good to have faith and, and prayer and stuff, but you still gotta live in this world and act in this world. Otherwise, you're just useless. I, I don't know that's all. I hope you enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you next time. And uh, my 200th video is coming right up. Stay tuned.